In this video, you'll learn how to create a user directory connection, configure a user directory connection, and assign licenses to users. When you want to manage ownership and access rights on a ClickSense server, you need to define your users. Normally, users are already defined in a user directory. On the User Directory Connectors page, you can specify several sources for your users and user groups. For example, you can connect to a user directory through Excel via ODBC. To do this, you must first install a 64-bit version of the Microsoft Access Engine. This can be obtained from the Microsoft website. When you go to the download page, you'll notice that there are two Access Engines. Since ClickSense is a 64-bit product and is only installed on a 64-bit operating system, you should download this version. When your download is finished, you have to run the installation file. Once Microsoft Access is installed, search for ODBC in the Windows search box and open the ODBC data source. If the installation of Access was successful, you should see a list of available ODBC drivers. For this example, we select the Microsoft Excel drivers. Type a name for the new database and select the location where the database files are located. When complete, open the hub and create a new app. Open the data load editor and create a new connection. Since we have created an Excel ODBC database, we select ODBC from the list. In the dialog, the Excel ODBC database that you just created appears. Select it and add a username and password if you wish. When you click on Create, an Excel ODBC connection is created. If you open the Select Data button, you can see the tables contained in the Excel document. Here, you select the tables in which you are interested and then click on the Insert Script button. As you can see, the script is now uploaded. Click on Load Data and wait for a confirmation message. You can now come back to the user directory connection and create a new connection. Choose Excel via ODBC from the list. Type a name for the connection and look for the setting Fetch User Data on First Access, then Keep in Sync. With this option selected, only existing users are synchronized. Otherwise, all users defined by the properties of the user directory connection are synchronized from the configured directory service. Then choose a user directory name and insert the exact location where the Excel ODBC is stored. You can do this by copying and pasting the location path. Next, check the extension file format. Since we have used an XLS file, change the name appropriately. An error message appears, showing an error related to the sheet names. In fact, if we open the Excel file, we can see that the sheets are named A and B. We can return to the user directory connector and update the name appropriately. Now we can save the connection without error. You can manually synchronize the user directory by clicking Sync. When the status is idle, it means that your directory is synchronized. Now, verify that your users have been uploaded. Here we can see a user uploaded from the Excel user directory. To enable a user to access ClickSense, you have to allocate licenses. To do this, go into Licenses and Tokens, select Login Access Rules, and then choose to create a new rule. Here you can assign the number of licenses. You select the group and then you add the value to the group. In this case, we select the Excel user group. 
Now that you have allocated the licenses, you are able to apply rules and permissions to the user. We will show how to do this in another video. Thanks for watching.